Anyone using Claude AI? I have been using Claude with Kagi, which is the paid for search engine. Been loving Kagi because part of it, they include all the chat GPTs, Claude, Gemini, and I've just been going through asking questions, piloting different research things. And I've been pretty happy with Claude. I think it hallucinates, I think a lot less than chat GPT on topics that are more niche, like say Terraform but that's perhaps just the way that I talk to it. So for what I'm doing daily, I, I tend to lean on Claude now. Cool, you also mentioned Kagi, K-A-G-I.com? Yeah, K-A-G-I, yeah. And uh, it's nice, they have a feature where, you know, they have like the one click summarize a web page and other sorts of nice features. They let you go and just uh, get rid of entire domains. It's a nice service, I like it. It's a little weird to add to your phone. It's hard to add from search engine to say your phone, but on the desktop, it's pretty easy to use. I shouldn't oversell it. It's obviously for folks who use search all the time, but uh, yeah, the AI integration is, is pretty nice, I think, for what it's worth. Do they AI model or are they using one of the other services? Or? They've got several different ones. I don't know if you want, I'll just share my screen and show you what they have. Oh, this is a good example of where it was an interesting discussion. So I don't know if anybody's used EventBridge recently. Can you use EKS service accounts to give permissions to S3? That was one question that I had. And this one's using Claude 3 Opus. If I wanted to, I could just change it. Oh, I see. This is what you were saying earlier. Now I get it. It's like a chat agnostic chat GPT, where you basically get to pick which system you want to use, but you get a consistent UI. It feels less about search when you're using this chat and more just like regular chat. And does it keep track of your sessions with this like you do with chat GPT? I really like that. Yeah, they last for about a week and I forget how you preserve it if you can even. Uh, I haven't really tried because usually after about a week, I don't need it anymore. But I've absolutely powered down my computer, closed the web browser, reopened it up, and it gives a token to these. So I can't actually see it. But yeah, so the token up here, for instance, is the thread for that. I forget if you can share that with people. I haven't tried, but you might be able to. How um, does the tag thing, uh, the exclusions work that you had mentioned? So for instance, here's just like a, a basic place. There's a domain leaderboard though. And so if you look at this, this is like top blocked domains. Of course, Pinterest shows right up at the top, which is what I love is that you could just absolutely go down, but then there's just, there's all sorts of other things on here that are just probably blockable. I mean, I know several people who block Medium, for instance. You can look through what are the top lowered results. I still block Quora, but some folks, I guess, consider it just lower the rate at which it shows up. And then there's what are the top raised domains? Well, I know that GitHub, I really should raise that because I practically always want uh, GitHub to show up. But um, but yeah, so it's just sort of a community based look at, you know, what other people do in there when they're yeah, working. Yeah, much harder like to gain, right? So. Yeah, it helps me sometimes because I'm just like, when, uh, when I started this up, I was just like, well, what are some of the domains I should block, you know? And rather than try to find all of them, it's just like, I just went to that one. Yeah, I wonder you know. what ranking they're using on the back end because I heard uh, more recently uh, search engines like Google are giving priority to Reddit for the rankings. So even with all the blocking, I assume there's still some algorithm that's ranking the order of the existing results. That I just wonder what variables that takes into account. I, I can't imagine you blocking yeah. Reddit would like remove that from the, the back end algorithm from giving it priority to the listing. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what they're doing because you're right. They have to have some way to almost partition things, but they have to be really smart how they index if they're going to do something like that. I have no idea. I feel like as if they've, they've probably made some new stuff. Uh, this isn't by by any way anything new. This is just something that's I think I think it started back in night uh, 2018, 2019, maybe was when this uh, first came out. So it's not new at all, but. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for the demo. Appreciate it. Yeah, no worries. I don't know if you have any other questions, but it's um, pretty handy for if you're doing a lot of research, in my opinion. Just now I get irritated whenever you see a Google search. Yeah. Yeah. I'm tempted to try it out and see, uh, see if it sticks or not.